Well guys, it is another week. That means it's time for another video. And today we're gonna be taking a look at something from Boost Auto Parts. Nice small envelope we've got here. So what could it be? Well guys, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a modification to the 2004 Duramax here, but this same modification would work on the 2014 over here. It's just a separate set of directions than what you're gonna follow here. But Boost has some great instructional videos on the website on how to do this. But nonetheless, I'm gonna show you how to do this install today and tell you why I like it. So in this little package here, we have some parts that's gonna enable the fog lights to come on anytime that the parking lights come on, which if you think about it, if the headlights are on, the parking lights are gonna be on. So that means your fog lights are always gonna be on. So auto fog light, auto fog lights is what this is. So obviously if you guys have one of these trucks, you pretty much know that whenever you go to hop in the truck, and turn the key on. Let's see if it's dark enough right now to have the uh, headlights on or not. Yep, so you can see headlights are on, fog lights aren't. So what you have to do every single time you get in, is hit the fog light button. You'll see a little light here illuminate and now your fog lights are on. So every time you start the truck, You've got to hit that button in order to get your fog lights on kind of a pain and i've always wondered if there's a solution out there for it it's even like that on the newer truck because i'm the type that whenever the truck's running i just want the fog lights on if the headlights are going to be on i want the fog lights to be on and i'm sure there must be other people out there like that because boost has come up with a solution for this so we're going to install this part and i'm going to show you exactly how to do that today All right, guys, so if we look in the package, we've got the actual part right here, parts, I should say, and we've got some information here. I'm not gonna show you all that since it's got my address and everything, but it tells you which video to follow for specific vehicles. But you can see, look at this right here. You've got instructional videos that you can go look up online and uh, everything you need right here in the package, which is really simple, actually. All you've got are some T-taps, which basically you can see, they just bite into the wire to get power from the wire. And then whenever you fold it over on itself, like, like so, what happens is you're able to plug into the bottom of the connector here with this guy. So basically you can just feed power over from one spot to another. So it's, I mean, really simple concept, but works extremely well. And the build quality is top notch. I mean, you're getting your money's worth right here, guys. So what we got to do is we got to crawl under the kick panel. So you could take the kick panel off if you want to, but it's not absolutely necessary. So I'm going to see if I can crawl under there and do it and get a good enough shot for you guys to uh, actually see what I'm doing here. Well, at a quick glance, whenever I poked my camera up under like this, I saw that it was going to be really hard to get to the BCM that we needed to. Um, as far as for shooting video, it's been very easy to do if I wasn't trying to shoot a video and make it clear for you guys. But the nice thing about these old Chevys, and one reason I really love them, is look at this. For the kick panel, there's a screw right there, screw right there, which correlates to here and right here. And literally just pulled on this guy. Make sure to watch out for the bottom of this trim right here. Literally just pulled, came right out. I mean, it just doesn't get any simpler than that. So there's both the bolts and it was a seven millimeter. So now what we can do is we can start tapping into our BCM, which if we're looking right here, it's gonna be the one on the far left. So I should be able to grab the bottom gray plug, top blue, pinch them down together, and then just pull it out. Just gonna wiggle it back and forth, left and right. You can see we got her unplugged. All right, so now we need to look at which tire, which wires we're tapping into. All right, once the BCM's unplugged, you gotta, you gotta determine which wires you're gonna tap into, which I'm gonna make it really easy in this video for you guys. And also keep in mind, disclosure here, this is for an 03 to an 06 or 07 classic body style. So I'm talking about cat eye Chevys right here, guys. This, what I'm doing particularly here will only work on these wires for the Cat Eye Chevys. It's gonna be different for something like that over there. But what we gotta do, 
once we've got that BCM unplugged, is we've got to take these T-taps and we've got to tap into the appropriate wires, which are A5 and B2. Now, how do you know what's A5 and what's B2? Honestly, it's really easy. If you look on it here, if you've got the blue side straight up, B is the top row, A is the bottom row. And going left to right, you're going one, two, three, four, and so on. So if we want B2, that means top row here, B2 is gonna be second one over, which I can see is this white wire right here. So you want the white wire on the blue row, and then A5, if I flip this guy on its side kinda, you can see that, if I can move my hand out of the way, in the fifth slot over, it's that green wire with the white line in it. So I need this white wire right here and this green wire. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my T-taps and I'm gonna look for the side with the little groove in it, slide it right over the wire, just like so, and I'm gonna bite down on it. And once you've got the wire in place and you push on it hard enough, you gotta push pretty firm to make sure that wire is seated in there. You're gonna feel it click. So we've tapped into that guy. Now we need to tap into the green wire with the white line on it. So I'll take my second tap here, put it in there, make sure you get it in the slot there, just like so. Go ahead and kind of press it in there with my fingers. That way I know it's seated well. Bend this over on itself and just press down until it snaps. And would you look at that? You have tapped into it, guys. All right, so now we've got to work with this piece, which is just as easy as what we've done here. Keep in mind, you have a blue ring side, you have a black ring side. You want to take the blue ring side and in the wire tap spot that you've got right here on for the green wire with the white line, you're just going to plug it in just like so, and I'm gonna push down on it, make sure it clips in all the way. There we go, make sure it's seated all the way on there. Then we're gonna do the same on the T-tap with this side with the white wire. So I'm just gonna plug it in on this side, and I'm gonna go ahead and take both hands to do that. It's gonna be a little bit easier. So you can see I've got it tapped in on both sides here. We've got a good connection, so now I can take the BCM and I can plug it back in just like so. And you're going to hear it click too once it gets in there. Just like that. All right, so once the BCM's plugged back in, you've got your connection well made there. What you can do is test it out. I've actually thrown my hat up over there along with the Boost Auto envelope on the little sensor. That way we can make it simulate nighttime. I'll go ahead and put my key in over here. Put it through the run mode. I noticed immediately, and that's one thing I was wondering about, the light does come on for the fog lights, so let's walk around for the moment of truth. How about that? We got auto fog lights now. So now every time that the headlights kick on, or really the parking lamps, fog lights are gonna kick on as well. Very slick. I like it a lot. I mean, that was a really easy install, even with taking the kick panel down, which I'm gonna go ahead and recommend you guys do. It just makes the job that much easier. Um, another thing that I really like about this is that's really not that intrusive. If you decided for whatever reason you wanted to take this mod off, literally just unplug it, take those taps off. And I mean, it's really not intrusive. Uh, the wires are still just fine. We didn't hurt them in any shape or fashion. But now all we've got to do is put that kick plate back up and I'll be back with you guys shortly. And just like that, kick panels back up. Mod still working, watch the light there. You saw I didn't even press that whenever I kicked it over there. And they're still on, pretty slick. I just noticed I've got a side marker bulb that's out and we're gonna have to find something to replace that. Stay tuned guys, I've got an idea there. Guys, I just love easy modifications like that. I mean, that's something you could do literally in less than an hour and it just looks so good i mean 
you're a truck enthusiast, you know how it is. Every time you get in there and you pop those fog lights on, super annoying. We don't have to worry about this anymore. And the best part is, guys, this is a $20 job here. So you saw 15 minutes of time, 20 bucks, and your fog lights can automatically come on just like that. And just like I said before, this really isn't an intrusive job. If you wanted to remove it for whatever reason, it's really easy to, but I can't understand why you'd want to. Guys, thanks for checking out today's video. Big thanks to the folks over at Boost Auto for sending this over for us to put on the truck here. I really like the modification. Stay tuned, guys. I'm hopeful we can do something in the near future. I know I've been wanting to get tow mirrors on this thing for a while now. I'm thinking some switchbacks would look really good on this truck, along with maybe doing something. I mean, we've got the LED headlights and fogs down there. Maybe we need to do something here as well. You know, we got the, uh, the, we got the switchbacks for the turn signals up front on the 2014 and I'm really liking them. So maybe it's time to do something like that with the 04 here. So big thanks to the guys over at Boost Auto for sending this out. I really like it. And guys, if you think this is something you want to do to your pickup, like I say, it doesn't have to be this year model. They've got videos on other pickups, so I could even do it on the one over there if I wanted to. And the same price, 20 bucks. So if you're in that Silverado Sierra family and you want this mod, Check out down below, I'm gonna leave a link to Boost Auto's website along with this exact setup that we've got here so you guys can do this to your trucks. Let's go over there, show the guys at Boost Auto some support for the great products that they make. All right guys, thanks for checking out the video and until next time, take care.